Is anybody else cold? Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I'm in Florida and I'm complaining. I know everybody's going to tell me to shut up, but it's cold here today. Um, so I'm thinking about keto snacks. What kind of snacks can a person eat while they're doing a keto diet? Now, first of all, the thing I want you to understand is that you probably won't feel like snacking near as much as you used to because you're going to feel full. You won't need snacks all the time. And what I typically find is that I can use what I would normally call a snack for a meal and feel completely satisfied and not be hungry and back in the kitchen again in 20 minutes. So something to keep in mind when you're thinking about snacking on keto is what high fat, high nutrition food can I grab that's portable and easy, especially if you're a super busy person and you wanna have things with you to snack on or use as a light meal instead of having to stop at a restaurant or packing some you know, big old messy thing that you have to put in the microwave and all of those things. So I'm Dr. Annette and I love to help people just like you feel great and have the energy to do the things that you love to do with the people you love to do it with and maintain that busy lifestyle while staying on your keto plan, your keto lifestyle plan. So the best thing I can tell you about snacking on keto is keep it simple. Don't get crazy. You can always take seeds, or nuts, put them in a little Ziploc bag, take them with you, keep them in your car, keep them in your purse, whatever. Um, you can do things like pork rinds, which you know you can get those at almost any gas station. Just make sure you check for gluten. I know some of them have gluten. If you're gluten sensitive, you have to watch those things. Um, but pork rinds, you can even use those with dip, guacamole, that kind of thing. Um, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, lots and lots of different seeds and nuts of course always check your um, carbohydrate content before you purchase a big lot of them right because you want to know you want to understand how many of those things that you can eat without derailing your keto lifestyle so that's something to remember when you're purchasing snacks um, something else full fat cheese when i say cheese i don't mean you know the stuff that comes individually wrapped i mean hard cheeses that were actually made with mold, you know, like the real stuff, real cheese, like sharp cheddar cheese and different things like that. American cheese is not really a cheese. It's not an aged hard cheese. I also like mozzarella cheese and keep in mind the shredded cheeses usually have more carbohydrates in them than regular packaged cheeses that you have to cut yourself because they add things to them to keep them from sticking together. Also, remember things like beef jerky, you can keep that that lasts quite a while. You can get that at almost any gas station. Um, macadamia nuts and walnuts are also a good option for nuts. Pickles are sometimes something that people like to use, although pickles are not necessarily the most portable thing in the world, but sometimes you can get those at gas stations. And um, keep in mind that buying those protein bars and the bars that are portable granola bars and things like that are typically not very keto and a lot of them have a lot of sugar hidden sugars in them so make sure you keep those kinds of things um, out of your life you do not want to start using those prepackaged foods that are high in chemicals and high in hidden sugars because you're going to derail your ketogenic lifestyle and you're not going to be very happy with yourself after that so things to keep on hand at home if you're um, a snacker at home or if you just don't want to cook all the time which I find uh, I get more and more that way as I get older I just don't want to take the time to cook and do all of those things sometimes um, snacks to keep on hand at home if you're interested in keeping a ketogenic lifestyle and have some handy snack foods around avocados are great you can always use you can use avocados for all kinds of things you can smash them up and make dip you can slice them up and eat them you can fry them there's a lot of things you can do with avocados. Um, hard boiled eggs are great to keep around. You can put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt on them, a little bit of pepper and snack on those. And sometimes I do those for breakfast and take them with me. You can also pre-package things like egg cups. I think I'm actually gonna try to make some of those later this afternoon. They are basically scrambled eggs with whatever ingredients you want in them. Spray a muffin tin and pour it into the tin and you know, you can add cheese and bacon and sausage and all those things to your little egg cups. 
bake them in the oven and um, when they're fluffy, when they, you know, they puff way up and get fluffy and they're, they're kind of solid, then they're done. You can keep those in the refrigerator or the freezer and they're easy to pop out and snack on. You can throw salsa on top of them. You can use guacamole with them. You can use sour cream. So, you know, get crazy and make up your own. You can make Mexican style, Italian style, whatever sounds good and just keep them in the fridge. Also remember that you can slice up zucchinis you can slice up cucumbers and use those with dips. And um, you can always use bacon, sometimes bratwurst, different things like that, that you can cook in advance and keep around the house to snack on. So those are some tips and tricks. You want to make sure that you avoid things that say low fat. Um, a lot of times if something says that it's keto friendly or low carb, you really need to read the ingredients because you want to stay away from the sucralose and all of those types of sugars that actually spike your insulin. So make sure you read the packaging. I know you're busy and I know you're in a hurry, but read the packaging because you don't want to get completely derailed because you were in too much of a hurry to read the package and see what was actually in the food you're eating. So keto lifestyle, think what can I eat that has more fat in it, very low carbs, higher fiber, and how nutritional is this for me? Just you want to make sure that you're getting nutrition. You want your minerals. You want your vitamins. You want your phytonutrients in your diet every day. So if you can make your snacks like maybe celery chopped up with cream cheese or almond butter or something like that, just get a little creative. I know you can do it. Avoid things like um, noshing on carrots and eating huge piles of nuts because you should only have a small amount of nuts every day. You're not supposed to have like an entire container full of nuts. So hopefully this was helpful. If you thought so, please ask someone else to watch. Make sure you like and follow me and also click that little button that um, says remind me when Annette goes live so that you can get more keto tips and tricks and how to live a healthy lifestyle. You can also follow me on Instagram and Pinterest at Ask Dr. Annette. Hope you have a great day.